Welcome to The Oasis, my name is Mike, and today I'm finally back making videos on the channel. If you're not aware, I've been away for a little while as unfortunately I had COVID, which totally sucked by the way, so please, please take care of yourselves. But I'm back now and I'm feeling better and I'm excited to be checking out Stride on the Oculus Quest 2. Stride is a free-running parkour action game from developers Joyway, which will have you running, jumping, blasting, and sliding your way through three different game modes. The game launches today, the 5th of August, on Quest and Quest 2 for $14.99 in US dollars, $10.99 in British pounds. In this video, I'll be showing you the three different game modes whilst explaining the core gameplay mechanics, and then I'll be talking more about my thoughts on the game at the end of the video, as there's a few things that you should be aware of before putting your money down on this one. I hope you enjoy the video, and without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, welcome to Stride on the Oculus Quest. As you can see, we're on top of this rooftop here in the middle of this city. And we've got three different game modes that we can play on release. Story mode and multiplayer will be added as a free update in the future. But to jump straight into the game, let's check out Time Run. And as you can see, we've got easy to hard, some levels here on the left-hand side. And the aim of this mode is basically just to beat the best time to get three stars in each level. So let's jump in. So it's been a while since I've played Stride, but let's see if my parkour skills are up to scratch. Let's go for it. So the controls are pretty straightforward. You have to push on the left thumbstick to move forward, and then you swing your arms as if you're running to kind of give yourself a little bit of a speed boost. Then to jump, you use the A button, and you sort of push and hold it, and then let go when you're ready. And then you want to swing your arms up in the air to give you a little bit of a height bonus. And the cool thing is when you start stringing this all together, you kind of get into this nice flow state and it feels very satisfying indeed. This is a little duck section, so you want to slide. And let's see if we can hit this, bounce off. <laughs> that felt really good. Bounce off this one, straight up there on the left. And this is just like a free running section, weapons, and other mechanics are introduced in other game modes, which I'll show you shortly. But let's see if I can make this three stars. Let's go to the finish line. Photo finish. Did we make it? Three stars in the bag. 105 was the time to beat. And uh, yeah, the high scores obviously here, the leaderboards aren't live yet because the game isn't out at the time of recording this video, but you'll see the leaderboards here on the left hand, on the right hand side, sorry, uh, when the game goes live. So let's jump back and I can show you the arena mode. This is much more action packed, a lot more enemies and you've got weapons and other things to contend with. So let me show you that now quickly. Okay, so here we are in the arena mode. You've got loads of different modifiers you can do to make it harder. It's pretty hard as it is already. You've also got some unlockables here. So once you hit a certain threshold, you can unlock some modifiers as well, like health packs, laser sights other bits and pieces, which will be really fun. I haven't really played around with this mode that much. So let's jump into it and uh, see what Eliminate we can do. Collect cases. So let's see what I can do. Here we go. Got to collect the case. Got an enemy there. Nice. Oh, there's the case with the drone. Can I make the jump? Ooh. Nice. Another case to collect. And this is where it starts really feeling like Mirror's Edge. You know, in this city sort of landscape. Very cool indeed. We're not going to make that, so we're going to have to go this way. Come on, you can got this, Mike. Not going to go that way, that's way too high. It's all about kind of figuring out the best route here. And am I going to make it? Oh, <laughs> just. Oh, another enemy ahead. Oh, bad aim, Mike. Bad aim. He recovered it well. Second package in the bag. Ooh, don't look down. There it is. Ooh, big jump. Ooh. <laughs> Just caught it there. That was mental. Yes, quest complete. Eliminate enemies. Eliminate enemies, got it. 
Let's see what we can do. Oh, there's two of them, <laughs> and I'm off. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh, that was terrible. Terrible aim. Nice. Oh! No! Oh, can I save it? Can I save it? He can! <laughs> that was right down to the wire. I think actually the arena mode is probably my favorite so far. That's the most fun and frantic. And I'm getting very hot, and as you can probably tell, I'm getting a little bit out of breath because this is very physical, this game. You're definitely going to be burning a few calories. But to finish off the video, let's see how far I can get in this endless runner mode. And this is probably a good way to see how good I am and see if I can set a decent score for you guys to maybe see if you can beat. Like I say, I'm a little bit rusty, but from this little gameplay session, I've kind of remembered a few things. This is obviously easy right now, but things are going to ramp up very, very quickly with enemies and also drones, which they've added for this quest version. I'm sure they'll be adding it later to the PC build. But you've got these drones that kind of drop traps, which are going to be in your way, which you can shoot or you can just avoid. Or you could just completely take down the drone itself. This is feeling very good so far. Like I said earlier, when you get into that kind of flow rhythm state, it just feels very cool. Here we go. Felt like there was one behind me then, but... <laughs> I'm also recording this video at like 70 frames per second unlock the full frame rate of the quest recording so hopefully the gameplay looks a little bit smoother oh if you think that's the case let me know in the comments down below first time i've kind of experimented with that before oh and this is our first drone got our health back from getting shot Let's see if we can take this drone out yes oh oh the drone it did us we tried to avoid the trap and then fell down. Not ideal. Let's see if we can get another health pack. Bit of zip slide action. Very nice. That's a very big drop. <laughs> oh, you can see the, the kind of black zone is catching up with us, which we need to avoid at all costs, because that is game over otherwise. We've got a health pack there. Ooh. Nice. One little tip is uh, reload when you can. Oh, that drone. We didn't have any chance. Ooh. Getting that. Oh no, we hit two of those straps. Come on. Ah! Oh, we lost our momentum to slide. Got to avoid these traps at all costs. <laughs> That's swinging though. Wow. That is cool. <laughs> it is getting so hot in this headset. It's unreal. I'm determined to get a good run in. Oh, another health pack. Can we get pick up an, an extra one, maybe? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there we go. We got it. I remember getting further than this zone on the PC build. It starts getting very dark. The darker the sort of these gray tiles become, the further down the track you're getting as such. No future. Very bleak, dystopian message there. Oh, no! Oh, that was epic. I feel like we only just 
We're able to make that. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <sighs> well, there we go. That gives you a good example of what uh, this game is all about. So that is the three different modes available right now in Stride. Like I say, the multiplayer and story will be coming later, but I'll talk more about that very shortly at the end of the video. So I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay. Now I'm going to go and get myself a deserved big drink and maybe even a little cheeky lie down. So let's jump to <laughs> the outro. Let's go. Okay, so that is Stride on the Oculus Quest 2. My parkour skills are a little bit rusty, but hopefully the gameplay in this video gave you a good sense of what the game is all about and the core gameplay mechanics. Now, the game originally launched on Steam for PC VR headsets back in September last year, and I'm happy to report that the port from PC to Quest is pretty solid and benefits from some additional gameplay tweaks, a newly designed tutorial section, a redesigned menu screen, and also the addition of a new enemy type in the form of a drone, which can try and sabotage your run by dropping traps in your path. Now, of course, you do lose some visual quality with the Quest version, which is to be expected. Although I did notice some flickering textures in the windows of the buildings. Uh, I'm sure Joyway can fix that, but overall the fun core gameplay remains intact. And that is where this game really shines. When you get into the rhythm of stringing all these parkour moves together, slowing down time and taking out enemies, all whilst kind of keeping that momentum going, it really does feel great. What it does lack from the PC side is the multiplayer mode called stride.net, which you can download alongside the PC game. And it features a kind of zombie infection mode where players have to chase down other players to spread the infection. It's very similar to Gorilla Tag if you're familiar with that game. Now the Quest version of Stride is $5 cheaper than the Steam VR version, and the developers Joyway have told me that the multiplayer mode and a story mode will be coming as free updates to the Quest version in the future. Now one thing you need to be aware of is that Joyway don't particularly have a good reputation of finishing the games that they've started. They also have at least two other VR games in development alongside Stride called Against an Outlier. Now ultimately, it will be down to Joyway to prove themselves to the VR community that they can deliver on their initial promise. At this point, we don't have a timescale as to when the multiplayer or the story modes will be added. Now overall, my thoughts of the game remain the same from when I originally played the PC VR version last year, in that the core gameplay mechanics feels great, the game has a lot of potential, but it lacks any real depth in the gameplay modes that are available right now. Now, although Oculus don't mark games as early access, you should definitely treat this game as an early access title. So just know going in that you're paying to support the developer's vision of the future and the promise of more content coming later on down the road. But of course, that's just my opinion. I'd love to know what you all think of Stride in the comments down below. Have you played it? What do you think of it? Or maybe you're gonna hold out for the multiplayer and story modes to be added in the future. I'd love to know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful. Make sure you're subscribed for all my future VR content. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.